Hey y'all, it's Beth. Welcome back to the channel. Y'all, I look a hot fright mess. I've been working in the shop. I don't even have any chapstick on, but I just couldn't wait. I need to show you this estate sale haul. Now in my last video, I took you shopping along with me at an estate sale in beautiful Needville, Texas. And today, I'm gonna show you all the goodies that I got. My total spend, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, was $41 or $47, yeah, one of those, close to that. I We'll find out because I'm sure the receipt is in all of this stuff. But I went on the very last day. It had pretty much been cleaned out, but I did find some goodies and it was 50% off day. And this is probably only really the third or fourth estate sale that I've ever been to. But I'm getting a little bit braver to go and drive to the estate sales, which happen to be usually about an hour or so from my house. So let's get started and see what I picked up at the estate sale. y'all two of the bigger items well I think they're big items um, that I got are kind of the same thing you saw me looking at this dresser caddy for men you put maybe your wallet you could put your phone nowadays here change rings and everything like that I love the handles on there and it has a nice big drawer that is sectioned out here uh, on the bottom it is marked London leather made in Taiwan Republic of China so this this was marked at $10, so 50% would have been $5, but I got a second one. Let me show you that one. And this one was marked $6, which would have been $3, but she gave me both of these for just $6. So I thought that was pretty good. For the cost of this one normally, I got the other one free. Um, this one is a little bit different. This one is a little bit older. It is made in Japan here. Um, and I don't know, is this glasses maybe, a wallet, or is this maybe for watches? What is this for, y'all? Help me out in the comments below. But I like them both. I'm going to clean this one up. Um, probably put a little bit of Old English once I wash it down and everything. I'll put a little bit of Old English on it. It'll shine that wood right back. And this one is super cool too. And for $6 for both of these, I couldn't pass it up. Okay, let's see what's in the bag. Oh, probably only a couple of things. Oh yeah, I got this book because I remember there's a whole series of these, but I like birds. It has some great ephemera in there. And I, that's right, it had a date on there. November the 13th, 1952 was the date that it was signed. And the copyright date is 1949, right here in very small print. So I loved the colors in this book. I hope somebody wouldn't tear the pages out, but... I could understand why they might want to tear the pages out. There is literally dust flying as I am flipping through this. So this definitely needs to go back outside and be dusted off. But look at the colored pictures in there of all of these birds. Now those would be great. I'm not going to lie. Those would be pretty cool on maybe some handmade cards and stuff like that. But I think if I'm not wrong... There is a whole series of these. Oh, this one's a cool picture. And there used to be a paperback version too because I think Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living used to collect these. All right, another thing that I found, you saw me digging this out. It needs to be cleaned oh so well, but it's another Scotch tape tin. Now this one is, I think the top is plastic. I mean, the tape is still in there, y'all. Um, but this is the 3M Scotch Tape Tin, and I've got a little bit of steel wool, but once I soak this a little bit and put a little steel wool to that, the rust would come off. But then again, I like things that are rusty and crusty. All right, let's see. I got two tins. Y'all, I have picked up more tins recently. I mean, Christmas tins. I think I got some Halloween tins. Didn't I get a Halloween tin? Or maybe, maybe I didn't actually pick that up. Who knows? Um, I did see this one first. Uh, this one says con container made in England. And um, at first I wasn't too impressed with it. It is very dirty. These were outside. I'll have to wash it up. But then um, I noticed that it is hinged. So it must have had cookies or something in there. 
because it still has the little cardboard in there, but I'll wash it up and a good hinged box is hard to find. I think sewing notions or maybe some ephemera. Oh, y'all, open the lid and make this. Oh, make this like an ephemera bowl. Put all the maps and stuff in there. Oh my gosh. I just had another amazing idea. I love that. All right. So I got that one for 50 cents and I got one more tin. Now I said in the video that I had made a big ruckus and y'all, I did. I made the biggest, loudest ruckus because I went to grab this and the lid was off and not only did this piece fall on the floor, but it knocked like two or three other tins off and of course, you know, tins on concrete make a whole bunch of noise. So nothing like drawing attention to myself at the estate sale. Um, I thought this one was really cool. English biscuit assortment. This one was only a dollar, but for the spring, y'all, look at that. Butterflies and flowers and that little English cottage. I did not see a date, but I was so embarrassed. I just picked the tin and went away. Um, it's a little bit worse for wear on the inside. And of course they are very dirty. I don't see a date on this anywhere, but nonetheless, I thought it was pretty and I'm still making noise with it. And so I picked it up. Okay, y'all, this item was probably my favorite find of the day. And it is a suitcase. Y'all look at this awesome little suitcase. Got the handle on there. I think I had one of these that was in tapestry. Did, I think it was the same size and everything. And it was like some tapestry floral print. I do think I had one of those. But y'all, this is in fabulous condition. The zipper works and everything. And um, I actually used it to put a bunch of stuff in there so I could haul it to the car. So have suitcase, will fill up at a state sale and travel. So let's open it up and uh, see what I got because I think I forgot. All right, I do remember putting the receipt in there. Oh, y'all, I only spent $37. <gasps> wow, I got a good deal on all this stuff. Okay, <clears throat> I'll show you the inside of the suitcase in just a second, but it's full of goodies. So now I know that a lot of people don't like to buy someone else's towels but there are beautiful vintage towels in wonderful condition out there y'all and i love them one of the things i noticed about vintage towels is they're much smaller than our towels today but take a look at this beautiful towel right here look at all of the pretty colors in that there are no stains no rips nothing in this towel and y'all look, it's only that wide. But I love the blues, the orange, very fall. This is a Canon Royal Family. Um, it says made in Canon, New York. It does not have a date on there. But I'll wash it up. No stains whatsoever on there. And even if you just use this for a hand towel, because, I mean, let's be honest, it would have to be a kid's towel. Um, I think it would make a great little display in like a vintage bathroom, y'all. So I picked this up. Now, of course, I'll wash it. All right, look what else I got. This is actually a set. So these are Canon as well. But look, this is like, look how little this dab burn towel is. Y'all, that's a little towel. That's maybe what? A yard and a half? I think that's a yard and a half. But it is like pink and white. It is textured, very good condition. But I didn't just find the towel, I found the matching washcloth that is also in wonderful condition. So I now have a set of a towel and washcloth that go together. Now I can't remember, she gave me all of the towels and this isn't all of them for $6.50. I can't remember how much they were, but I think they were two or $3 each. So she was bundling to make some deals because it was the last day. And I appreciate her for that. All right, let's see what else I got in here. Oh, this was a cool towel. This one is a, oh, I got it backwards, a US Marine Corps towel. Now, one of the gentlemen that was there said that this was probably, or could have been a military issued towel. 
Um, it's the little, kind of like the small hotel towels that you used to get, but it may have been a military issued towel. But at the end of the day, they served our country, which I appreciate, thank you. And um, they can have a towel. Oh, I got some more towels too. I just gotta find those. And cause I remember specifically getting, oh, I got this y'all, look. I think I showed this. Look, someone in a live chat asked about a if we had any terry cloth, terry cloth um, aprons. And what do you know, I happened to find one. And I'm gonna wash it up and I'm gonna press this piece out. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's gonna be so pretty. But for the spring and summer, that would be so cute just displayed in your kitchen. So I got that, I think she, uh, she, the apron was $2.50. Here's some more towels in this bag. Oh, I got some ephemera. So I got some hand towels that have like goose, ducks, swans, feathered fowl. I'm not sure, but it's like a little patchwork. Now there's this one. It's like on a white cheesecloth. Um, I guess you call this cheesecloth. It might be linen. I didn't see a tag on it. But I got this red rooster. This made me think of D from Thrill of the Thrift. <laughs> I got this red rooster towel. And I also got, there was four of them. These are some white chickens. Now this one has a little bit of spot right here. So y'all think if I soak this in OxyClean first, that that will take that out because I did just get me a new thing of OxyClean. I think I need to soak them first, but they're stitched on there. I don't know if it's hand stitched or machine stitched. Um, I don't know y'all look at, okay, let me show you this one. So there was this chicken one. Here's the stitching, right? And then here's the stitching on the back. So do you think those are machine or hand stitched? I have no idea. You can actually see through here, you can see the stitching piece. So I thought these were pretty cool. Of course, I will wash them. And yes, Miss Martha from Vintage Conversation, I will iron them. And I'll put them in a little lot with a little red tool or something around them. That'll be sweet. And then I found another dresser scarf that is, I guess this is embroidered. I think that's what we've decided. But look at this little sweet girl. Look at the embroidery on that love all of the flowers in her basket. It is on both sides as they typically are. It is in pretty good condition. I don't see but a few pieces of staining on there and I can't tell if that is, oh, that's not stain, that's yarn. Hmm. I'll have to, oh, I love this lace on the bottom. You see this crocheted? I just love that. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna put this in a live sale or if I'm gonna keep it for myself. But y'all, as you know, anytime you can shop my haul. And that means that if you're watching this video and you see something that you're interested in, send me an email here at scprincess1 at comcast.net and I can let you know if the item is available or if it will be available soon in an upcoming live or drop sale. While we're talking about drop sales, um, make sure that you're hitting that notification bell to all because drop sales are pre-recorded video sales. Um, and if those post on my channel, you'll be the first to know and it is a way for you to claim items without having to attend a live sale. Also, drop sales are a way for you to be able to not watch on the day that it posts, but still be able to watch throughout usually about two or three days and claim items that have not already been been claimed in the comments of the video. So they're pretty cool. All right, let me show you what else I got. Um, oh, the doilies. Y'all know how I feel about doilies. I love doilies. Um, look at these though. I don't even know what kind of stitch this is. So my crochet knit stitch kind of people, tell me what kind of stitch that is. Do we call this crocheted? And I also know there's tatting something called tatting, but look how beautiful that is. And it's big. Love the greens in that. Oh, I need to save one of these for St. Patrick's Day <gasps> or Christmas. Wouldn't this be beautiful with one of those ceramic Christmas trees in the middle? Now, I don't have one of those, but I certainly can put it on my bolo list, y'all. 
But the good thing about that is I didn't get one green, I got two. So I'm able to give one up for a live sale and keep one for myself. And these things are pretty big. All right. And then this one, ooh, this one's going to be tough to give up, y'all. Look at the color in this. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Oh, with a vase full, a clear glass vase, y'all. Hashtag bring back the clear glass in 2022. Y'all, one of the beautiful clear glass vases with some yellow flowers in that. Sitting on top of this, that would be so darling. Oh, I'm loving it already. All right, I got some other, I think these are crocheted, but my dad said my grandma used to call it tatting, and I don't know the difference between one or the other. Um, this one is so cute. It's got like a little baby pink around the edge right there, but this one is a pretty good size, and look at that intricate work. I don't know how people did that, and I don't know how people knit either. I don't have the patience for that. All right, and this one, and y'all know that doilies sell very well for me, um, especially at my shows. I actually usually sell out each show, but look at that design. These are pretty good. Now, I am going to try soaking this in OxyClean. I don't know if... Now, see, when I hold it up this way, it looks like maybe that's shadowing. Because when I look at it closely, I do not see any stains whatsoever on this. But all of that is getting washed. Also, some things that are getting washed. Now, I know people don't like to pick up vintage bed linens or vintage bed jackets or anything. But, y'all, I'm not going to story to you. I've done very well with vintage pajamas. And I found three pieces of what they would call lingerie. We called it a nightgown. Now, now this is a fancy nightgown because I've had flannel nightgowns and long t-shirt nightgowns. You know, it's almost like you'd call this a hospital gown. You know, you had to get your good pajamas if you ever had to go in the hospital. Everybody's got that one pair of good pajamas. So this is got beautiful lace right here. The only thing is I have yet to find, now this one is long. Oh wait, there is a tag. <gasps> Yay, oh, vanity. Nope, not vanity. I need my glasses for this. Goodness, Van Royalty, y'all? What does that say right there? It says it's a medium. So this one is long. It is all the way, I would say this one would come about mid-calf for me. So this is a medium, beautiful little pink or peach color. So I'll get that washed up. Also, what I picked up is another one. That is this turquoise blue color. This one is shorter. So this one is probably right at the thigh, but I love the design in this. Let me see if this one had a tag on the bottom like the other one. I was looking on the inside, like it right at the bust line. But if this is a medium, if the other one is a medium, I'm gonna guess that this one might either be a medium or a small. I think I can measure, y'all tell me if I'm wrong. I can measure from here to here. And I think that will tell me the, um, help me determine the size. But that one does not have a tag on it. All right, there's one more of those. And this one is pink. I don't think they'll fit me, but they sure are pretty. But I love this one, the, the little sleeves. This looks so cool for the summer. And it's got the little eyelet pieces right here oh, with the roses. So cute. Oh, this one has a tag. Tech Sheen Lingerie. Oh, lingerie. Tech Sheen Lingerie, size medium. So I'm going to guess that the other one is a medium too. And this one is a shorter one too. But y'all, that is too cute. Look at the little detail on the bottom. And if you wash it, it's fine. All right, just a few more pieces. The ephemera, y'all. First of all, look at this. Is that not beautiful? The red, the white, the blue, U.S. Post Office. Now, any reseller will tell you we have a relationship with the USPS. Our postmen, our UPS drivers. I give gifts to my UPS people and my USPS people because they pick up at my house for me. This did not have a date on it. And I have looked and looked and looked. But it has all of the zip codes in there. It's just a book of zip codes. I like it for the graphics. 
Um, and this is Mr. Zip, y'all. That's his name. And fun fact, Lovey's mom has actually worked for the United States Post Office for over 50 years. So congratulations to her. And she's still working there, y'all. All right. The next thing that I got was an Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi map. Now, I love the graphics on this. Remember traveling when you used a map? I really can't read a map very well. Thank God for Siri. And then look on the back. This is about the traveling with your humble credit card. I love that. Let's see. I looked and I did not see a date, but I really didn't look really hard but I love the graphics. Now, I said in the video that I have used uh, maps before to cover tables or furniture that are just beyond repair. If the top is beyond repair, if you can't, if it's too much putty work and you really can't um, fix it, then you can always put a map over it. Um, throw a few black and white pictures in there, shellac that on the top, and that would be super cute. Now, again, I was looking for the date. Well, it has a zip code and an area code, so that helps date it a little bit. I think it has to be after 1973 or something. Oh, 1972. Oh, it's right here, Beth. Jeez, my knees, vanilla cutty. Hold on, let me show you. It says it right here. 1972 so maybe it's after 1970 oh gosh i'll have to I'll, we'll have to fix that later all right the next i got two more maps one is i picked this up because of this car right here now this one is pretty dirty but i thought if somebody wanted to save the pictures in this um that would be good to cut up for ephemera or journaling <clears throat> this must be a city map y'all because look it looks different than a countryside map. All right, let's see if I can find the date on this one. Why don't they just put it all in the same place? This one says copyright night. What does that say? 1966. 1966 is what this one says. And this is the back of that one. And then there's Alabama. Had to get me an Alabama one because it made me think of Miss Pamela Blanchard. Sweet old Miss Pamela Blanchard. All right, this one is Alabama, and what is the date on this Bama map? The Bama map is copyright 1966 by Rand McNally. Look at there, isn't that pretty? Oh, look how pretty this is, all those blues and colors. Y'all, that would be good, I'd, I'd like a, um, little card or something. You can make like a vacation card. Oh, that'd be so cute. I can't remember. The well, mats were $2 for like three of them. How many did I get? Oh, I'm still fighting with this mat. Well, oh wait, did I get it? Did I? No. No, that's wrong. I'm going to get it. 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 I got it. Whew. Okay. On to my most favorite item. And y'all, all the clothes just fell on the floor. That is my suitcase. Put in the comments below and let me know how much you think I paid for this suitcase. It is in perfect condition. So good. Now this is the top and this is the bottom. Y'all, it was 50% off of $5. I paid $2.50 for this suitcase. You know what I told Lovey? I said, hey, I wonder if we could fill this up with money. He was like, what? I said, I don't know, but I've always wanted to have a suitcase full of money. Don't you think that'd be a fun idea? He didn't think it was a fun idea or a good idea to put a suitcase full of money in your house. So we'll stick with the bank for now. Okay, y'all, that's all I got at this super fun estate sale. And if you did not watch the estate sale shop with me, I'll link that right above here. It is a beautiful area out in Texas and it's in Needville, Texas. And shop along with me, look and see what I was seeing. Let me know if there was anything that I left behind. From this video, leave me a comment below to let me know what your favorite item is. I told you my favorite item was the suitcase. 
because I think that would be fun to just fill up. If I could just get empty suitcases and fill them up with everything that I thrifted, that's a good idea, y'all. All right, y'all, so thanks so much for watching again. Don't get to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Let me know that you like it. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. I'd love to have you be part of my YouTube family. And I wanna say a big thank you to all of those who have been my subscribers from the beginning and a welcome to all of my new subscribers. So until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.